Have you been wanting to wear cozy sweaters, drink hot coffee, watch the trees turn from green to orange, and cuddle up to some Gilmore Girls? Well, me too. And today, in the spirit, we'll be thrifting for Gilmore Girls-inspired fall clothing. Good morning, friends. It is 5.10 in the morning, and we are going thrifting. It's pretty crazy because I woke up naturally five minutes before my alarm, which was at five. How my body knew it was time to get up and thrift, y'all, it's in my blood. Anywho, I'm really excited to go thrift today because last week I didn't film a thrift with me because I literally found three items and I was like, oh, this is disappointing. But I don't even care if I find zilch today because I'm gonna film it and I'm just gonna show you what I do find even if it's all a bunch of because it's still interesting. So I'm in a chipper mood. I'm not gonna film myself getting ready like I normally do because I'm actually gonna try to get there really much earlier than I normally do. As in like, instead of 6.40, 6.50, like 6.20, 6.30. So I gotta like rush, but I'll see y'all there. Before I leave, I wanted to show the fit because I feel really cute. This little black skirt and my strawberry tank. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm so proud of myself. It's literally a six on the dot and I'm in my car. So I feel like we're gonna get there at like 620 or 625. We got cow with this, so yay. This is good. This is so good. Let's drive. All right, y'all, it's 623 and I'm here. I'm literally right in front of the store, which is like the first time I've ever parked in front of the store because I never get here this early. No one's even waiting in line yet, but technically they are waiting in line with these water bottles holding their spots in line while everyone sleeps in their cars, LOL. But I don't have anything to put in line to hold my place because I just cleaned out my car so that I can like move because I'm moving into my new apartment car has to be empty so i'm just gonna sit here and honestly the warm august sauna that houston is it's kind of like a comforting blanket this early <laughs> so okay y'all we're in i am so excited because today we're going to be looking for fall clothing mainly gilmore girls inspired this will also be back to school friendly if y'all are looking for stuff like that but yeah, I've already pre-prepped, done my research on Gilmore Girls, and have a good idea of what I need to be finding. So I'm going to cut to explaining Gilmore Girls and the style and what I'll be looking for, and then I'll catch you right back here. Gilmore Girls is a feel-good comedy drama TV show set in the early 2000s. It follows a 32-year-old single mom and her 16-year-old daughter that live in a charming little town called Stars Hollow, where the mom, Lorelai, works as a manager in an inn, and her daughter, Rory, attends private school in a nearby town, aspiring to attend Harvard. The duo goes through many ups and downs in relationships, job and school life, finances, and more, but stays close throughout it all. Am I more beautiful today than I was yesterday? Oh, boy. I'm just not sure. I mean, at first I looked in the mirror and I thought, well, yes, definitely huge improvement. Can I have my pillow back? But then I thought maybe it's not that I'm more beautiful today. Maybe I was just as beautiful yesterday, only I lack the self-esteem to recognize it. I'm gonna go take a shower. Well, hurry up and I'll drive you to school. No thanks. Ultimately, it's a heartwarming show that showcases a sweet relationship between a young mother and daughter and all of their other complicated and often comical relationships. You are not seriously sitting there. No, it's a hologram, lifelike. Gilmore Girls is known for its fall aesthetic as the show is set in a charming little town in Connecticut with a corner coffee shop that Lorelai and Rory frequent between Lorelai's hours at the inn and Rory's time at private school or with her edgy boyfriend, Dean. You're building me a car. You're building me a car. That's right. You're building me a car? <laughs> what? I didn't want you wasting time on the bus anymore. I mean, that is very valuable time. We could be arguing about your ongoing obsession with very confusing Russian authors. I can't believe this. Um, do you like it? Do I like it? Are you kidding? Now on to why I've just spent 53 seconds explaining the plot of the first two seasons of Gilmore Girls. 
Well, the last two weeks I have been binging the show and it has really gotten me into the fall aesthetic mood. So I wanted to theme this thrift with me based on the stars hollow vibes. The show gives me warm, coffee, autumn feelings, coupled with the expansive academia vibe that I wanted to reflect in my wardrobe in the upcoming months. So I went on the hunt for less of neutrals, cable knit sweaters, turtlenecks, low rise jeans, and plaid skirts. Now let's get back to thrifting. I can already tell there's literally so many sweaters and long sleeves in this store. Oh my gosh, all of these racks. And so I feel like we should start with our cable knit sweaters and tight long sleeves. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look, this sweater is so perfect. Please. The knitting and then the zip up, which is like so common that the girls, especially Rory, would wear. Like, and the color too. It's just so nice. I really like beige for fall because I've really been into like whites recently and stuff like that. But sometimes white is just like too bright but like cream looks like fancy ralph lauren i'm going to the country club you know and oh, this sweater is so cute and so soft okay definitely getting that let's keep licking oh cable knit cable knit oh my gosh this is cute literally not my average style but I like the dainty buttons. Like I definitely feel like that is a popular part of the Gilmore look. And again, with this like cream beige color, this could be so nice with like a low rise pair of jeans. Just like simple, simple fall. It is really sweater season in this thrift store. There are so many long sleeves, but it's like hot here in Houston. So it's kind of like confusing. <gasps> Oh my gosh, y'all. This is so cute. Okay, it literally just looks like an olive green sweater, but look at the like textured argyle. And the size is actually what really I'm excited about because it looks like it'll be, oh, you can't really see that. But it looks like it'll be a really like oversized fit, which I, pre Gilmore Girls, I already loved like very, very oversized sweaters, but I also feel like this is very similar of a fit to that white cream notorious sweater she wore. And so I'm just like, oh, this is gonna be the coziest sweater to cuddle up in all fall. Oh my gosh, guys, no way. Are you screaming? Cause I'm screaming, this is literally Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is so cute. The way this heart, what a cute sweater. Oh my gosh, I'm totally into just like one pattern designs. And I just love that this is just like one red heart in the center. I'm gonna be wearing this like literally 24 seven. So do not shame me if I'm an outfit repeater this winter. Y'all, I'm so excited for fall weather, but like, I feel like in Houston, fall weather doesn't really come until mm, December. <laughs> Literally, it's gonna be hot here for quite a while, but I'm still really excited because I feel like I've never really thought that much about fall style, but now that like, I got this Gilmore Girls inspiration, I feel like I'm a whole new person. This is cute. I don't know if it's Gilmore Girls, but like, I just love this lace detailing. Even on the sleeves, it's literally around all the edges. And it does look like it'd be a tight long sleeve. So oh, it would be so cute with like denim flare jeans. <laughs> look how cute. This is so cute, no way, oh my gosh. I love the little details of like the striped knitting 
and then also the two stripes across gives it like that academia look and this collar oh the knitting is just gorgeous it looks so like oh, so gilmore girls so academia oh my god and the fit it looks like it's gonna fit really nice too Oh my gosh, guys, wait. My first turtleneck of the day. I like, again, the ribbing. It's nice. It's gonna be a cute turtleneck. I don't know how I feel though about that, like, mm. <laughs> This neckline cut reminds me of like those funky scissors we had when we were little that would like cut in like shapes. I swear I had scissors that would do that. And I don't know if that's the vibe, but I do love a good turtleneck. Ugh. And there's definitely turtlenecks in Gilmore Girls, but that necklace is just kind of not cute. I don't know. What do you guys think? Ooh. I'm going to hold on to it for now because maybe it'll like not look weird on and we'll go from there. I feel like right now we got a good mix because we have like sweaters and just like normal long sleeves, which is really all that's here. Like there's barely any short slips. <laughs> I was about to say there's barely any short sleeves, but speak of the devil. Oh my gosh, wait, this is so cute. This is like traditionally my style too. Like I feel like before I got into Gilmore Girls style, I would have liked this. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's a little like eyelet top. Me acting like I know what eyelet means, but <laughs> no. I love this paneling and the little details. Oh my gosh. And I feel like this is similar to what the mom in Gilmore Girls wore in one of the pictures I saw. Like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. This will also be good for me to wear like in September when it's still like raging 90 degrees here in Houston. I totally feel like I'm gonna become a coffee person after owning all of this clothing. Like there's no way that I won't. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, our first skirt. Wait, the plaid pleated skirt. Oh my gosh, this is so much like the skirts that Rory wears. The color and the plaid and the pleats and everything. And honestly, I feel like the plaid pleated skirt is like a classic because it's kind of like schoolgirl, like, and I just feel like it's been popular forever. And oh, a sweater with it, like, ah, bruh. I'm totally ready to get into pumpkin spice lattes. Honestly, I feel like that skirt was also giving like Harry Potter vibes. What house are y'all in? When I took it, I was a Slytherin, which like jump scare. Did you think I'd be a Slytherin? <laughs> I promise I'm not bad, guys. I just, I don't know, something about like the dark vibe. No, I'm kidding. I really don't know why I'm a Slytherin. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is so cute. Y'all, these buttons and then the cable. Oh my gosh, I love that like DNA helix <laughs> pattern. And it has a hood. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's like simple, but not too simple. Like some of the other tops, you know? Oh. I found this hoodie sitting at the end of an aisle, but it looks too big. Like, I feel like in Gilmore Girls, they wore hoodies, but they were like cropped or like tight. This looks like it'd be huge on me. And I'm not sure how I'm feeling about the stripes. So I'm gonna put this back. <gasps> oh my gosh, a turtleneck and a cable knit sweater. <gasps> oh my gosh, right now it's giving Christmas. <laughs> of the green and red being right next to each other but oh my gosh another turtleneck and this one's like more normal it doesn't have the weird end and then this cable knit red sweater again with the zip up oh my gosh this is too cute and i could wear this like all the way through christmas to a christmas party or something like but again definitely giving rory gilmore Ugh. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is so similar to a picture I found of Rory with like this V-neck. Wait, and the colors are so fall. This is cute. I don't know how I feel about like this. Oh, 
the striping like here it's giving i don't know what it's giving <laughs> but i don't know if i like that as much like i wish it was solid so i don't know we're gonna have to try it on and see because i like love that v but i don't know about the striping it's like tiger stripes but not tiger stripes i don't really know what i'm saying <laughs> let's keep going Oh my gosh, a little button up long sleeve. This is nice, very basic, but a good basic nonetheless. I love the little dainty buttons. <gasps> Yay, a turtleneck with short sleeve. This is what I was looking for. Oh my gosh, yes. It literally looks so plain and basic. <laughs> Normally I grab for like really crazy things, but it's just, it's a good staple and it's definitely the Gilmore look. So cute. Also, like, this is not in the Gilmore style, but imagine wearing this with like leg warmers on your arms. Arm warmers? Arm socks? I don't know. But yeah, I feel like that would look so cute. And then with like a little beanie. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad we found that. I feel like it's so on par with what I was looking for. A jacket, like an actual jacket. Oh my gosh, look how nice this is, y'all. What the heck? It looks so expensive. Oh my gosh, my nail. <laughs> so expensive. This is going to be so nice, especially when it gets like way colder. I even like the shape of the zipper. Like, y'all, I found this top and I thought it was so perfect, but it has some like staining. I don't know if you can see it, but isn't that so roaring? Oh my gosh. Oh. I also found this, which is so similar to the other two I found, but it has crazy staining. But otherwise, those buttons, oh, so cute. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> Freddy Cougar who? Oh my gosh. I can only imagine. This is going to be my Halloween costume now. I'm just going to wear the giant claws and be Freddy Cougar. <laughs> Okay, it's time to look for some cute little skirts. We already found that first plaid pleated one, which is so perfect, but that can't be our only skirt for the fall. So let's find some more. Yes, another plaid skirt. Oh my gosh. This one's like tight though, instead of like pleated and flared. No, because pretty sure Roy was wearing a skirt almost exactly like this. And it has a little cute slit. Oh my gosh, this is so perfect. Let's keep going. Keep going, keep going. Oh my gosh, a little black mini skirt. Oh my gosh, this also totally looks like her vibe. Oh. Perfect. In a lot of episodes, Rory Gilmore was wearing low-rise flare denim jeans, so that's what we're gonna look for next. Oh my gosh, y'all. I feel like this pair, oh my gosh, definitely is low-rise and then has that nice flare look it's also like a nice wash definitely feel like this is perfect for the fall and it's gonna go so well with those like long sleeve tops and sweaters <laughs> such a good find oh my gosh this is like such a similar pair but again with like the flare leg and the low rise if the other ones don't fit maybe these will <laughs> I'll have two options but oh my gosh love y'all my mic was bugging and it sounded so bad in this clip so i'm just gonna voice over but i found these cute brown corduroy pants i loved the cut i wasn't sure about the fit but nonetheless they were super gilmore girls comfy cozy fall so i grabbed them and then i also found this like kind of pleated like heathered skirt and y'all i know gray is not normally my thing and this pattern's kind of like weird but i felt like the fit would be super cute with this a-line cut so i figured why not try it 
Y'all, look how cute this shoe is that I found, but I can't find its partner. Oh my gosh, they're Union Bay. These are amazing. I'm gonna cry. Where is its sister? I wasn't particularly looking for dresses, but look at this dress I found. It is so gorgeous. Look at those little flowers and they're sparkly. Oh my gosh, this is drop dead gorgeous. And that high neckline, oh my gosh. I am completely and utterly obsessed. No freaking way. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my gosh. She found the matching shoe. On the other rack. You miracle worker. Oh my gosh, amaze. Yes, 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 yes. This is like the happiest day of my life, finding this matching shoe. Okay, we're gonna do another voiceover, but oh my gosh, y'all, I found these two pairs of sandals and I know they're not Gilmore Girls, but look at this beaut with the flower and it's mud. And then I also found these black platforms, which like insane, like I'm gonna be five inches taller and it's gonna be so amazing. Like I'm just dying. These are too cute. I had to grab them. I'm like gonna get emotional. Okay, I don't have much time before I have to be at work, so we're only gonna try on some of these items, and then I'll do an at-home try-on later. But for now, let's get the questionable ones tried on. Wait, this is so cute. We actually love this. I feel like it fits so well. It's so flattering. It's tight on the arms and the little lace. Oh my gosh, yes, 100%, yes. I don't know why I tried this on because I knew it was gonna be cute, but oh my gosh, I just always feel so like little and cute in my oversized sweaters. Like, what the heck? This is so cute, so cute. Wait, I feel like this fits nicely. It's a little, well, actually, it's kind of loose. I really like the turtleneck up here, but it's loose here. I don't know. I feel like it's too loose, honestly. I think I have to be real with myself. I would be annoyed with that. Okay, wait, this is cute. I don't know about the fit though. Like, it's like tight, but loose. I don't know, why does it fit like that? <laughs> Am I just not used to this kind of fit? Because this is so cute, like, literally, what? Oh my gosh. What do y'all think? Do y'all think it's cute? Ugh, I need y'all's opinions, like, oh my gosh. I can't do this by myself, I'm so indecisive. Okay guys, so what do we think? I feel like it's cute. I can't tell because I'm so far away, but I feel like it's cute, like the plaid. Okay, I just watched that clip back and oh my god, I'm obsessed. It's so cute and it fits so well. Yes. Okay, I know we were questioning this one because of the stripes. What do we think now that it's on? I don't know, guys. Like, this is so out of my comfort zone. I feel like it's cute, but I also just don't know. Like, I'm scared. Uh, I'm scared. I don't know why I'm scared. I feel like it's a big deal. What do you guys think? Tell me what you guys think about this, because I'm going to need to think about it a little more. Oh, this is cute. Wait, I like how this fits, actually. It's so cute and the dainty buttons oh my gosh yes this is a keeper okay this is the turtleneck with the weird hem so let's see i know you can't smell it but this turtleneck smells amazing <laughs> someone has the best laundry detergent and washed it before they donated okay what do you guys think i love how it fits like that is just you know but is the neck weird does that look weird? No, actually that's cute. <gasps> Why is this crinkle cut fry neck giving right now? Keep another Gilmore Girl Slay. Okay, I am out of time. We have got to go. So I didn't have time to try on the jeans, which I'm sad, but honestly, I think they looked a little too small. So I just left them, but it's okay. Cause I have a lot of jeans anyway, uh, but yeah, let's get going. So my clothes were stolen. 
well correction some of my clothes might have been stolen so i've been moving into my new apartment the past few days and i was preparing to film the little trial section of this video and i realized some of the clothes i thrifted are not here and i have fully unloaded all my clothes that are that were packaged in boxes and suitcases and they're nowhere to be found I've checked my car, I've checked my mom's house, I've checked my dad's house. The only place I haven't been able to check yet is Gage's car because he helped me to move, but he's at work, so he can't check yet. But if they're not in his car, I think they were literally stolen out of my car while I was moving. Um, so that's really unfortunate. <laughs> so right now, I'm not sure if I can do a try on of those clothes. Obviously, if they're stolen, I can't, but I have some of the clothes here, so we're gonna try on what I do have and hope that Gage finds the other clothing and that I can do another try on later this week. Um, but for now, we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with what we got, okay? Okay, so while I was actually thrifting, I said I didn't know if this was Gilmore Girls, but then when I put it on, I was like, I totally feel like Rory would wear something like this. Oh my gosh, or even Lorelai, like, but isn't it just so cute? Guys, this is literally my favorite piece. Like, this heart is too cute. Like, I am literally going to be wearing this with skirts, with jeans, all fall winter long. I just can't get over this. Like, I feel like this is something that you would see on Pinterest. Like, is it not? A hundred percent, a hundred percent you would see this viral on Pinterest or TikTok or something. But I am so obsessed with it. I can't believe I found it. And it's Nordstrom, which is like expensive. Like, I cannot afford that new. So <laughs> I love it so much. I really love the way that this top fits. Like, I feel like it just falls so flatteringly, if that's a word. But I love the lace trim everywhere. And it just sits so expensive expensive but also comfy like it's kind of giving like cute loungewear moment vibe but also like so nice with a pair of jeans and it is a little sheer so you can kind of see the bra which is like the only downside that i don't really like about it but other than that super duper cute then we have this cream top with the little buttons this is cute too. It's not my favorite of the haul, but it's just a nice, simple, basic. I feel like if I'm not feeling the creative juices one day, then this is just like a good top to throw on. And it's definitely giving like that Gilmore Girl vibe with the stitching, that knotted kind of look. Another comfy top. Then we have this skirt, which like, oh my gosh. I literally, I love this more than I expected, honestly. Like I, it's so cute, but I was like, oh, it's gonna look like cheap on because it is Wild Fable, which is Target. So it kind of lays a little awkwardly, like the pleats, I feel like need some ironing. But like once I put it on, I was like, okay, academia queen, like, and I feel like it actually could be long enough for work too, which is like nice. But the best part about it is I love how it looks with this green sweatshirt on like oh, it looks so cute i definitely think the best move with this is to wear either like a tight crop top or to wear an oversized sweatshirt because that just looks so comfy again like the sweater was giving gilmore girls but honestly this outfit was kind of giving like harry potter and that's also like a great fall aesthetic so i definitely was digging these two pieces and specifically together and then the last potential item i have to show for the try on is this jacket which is a hundred percent totally rory vibes like i swear she wore these all throughout the show and it just has that nice like stitching look and the cream is so expensive looking and so nice and i feel like this will really be good for in the winter when i need to like bundle up get a little cozy in my little zip up hopefully gage finds the other pieces and if so then we'll cut some more try on surprise i found all of the other clothes that i thought i lost or were stolen so we're gonna go through it gage had them in his car so lucky me i found them also here's our new little baby this is Jinx, or Jinxie. I often call her Jinxie. But she's my new little kitty. 
How are you doing, Jinx? She's super affectionate, loves to hang out with me while I'm doing stuff. So, oh, oh, she's excited. Oh, what happened? So you may see her in the back of some of my videos from now on. But yeah, she's a little 11 month, two week year old baby. So we're gonna celebrate her one year, literally in two weeks. Oh, but she's the cutest. Aren't you, Jinx? So let's get into the rest of the haul. One of my absolute favorite pieces I got was this sweater with the two stripes, y'all. This is the most comfortable sweater ever and I feel like it has the perfect oversized fit. It just looks so comfy, but like also flattering and cute. And it could go with so many things because it's so neutral, like jeans or a skirt. I love it. I got this jewel toned green turtleneck and I feel like this is also so flattering and it just looks super, super Gilmore Girls. Like I feel like the amount of jewel toned turtlenecks that were worn is insane. And it's just a comfy casual piece. For turtlenecks, I also got this beige tan turtleneck. I also really like how this one sits. I love the neck, like the way that the turtleneck neck part looks. I feel like it just looks expensive and rich and ooh la la. And then the last turtleneck I got is the black one with the weird little crinkle cut neck, but it's also just such a nice staple, very October Halloween-y vibes. Then this sweater, I feel like this is so giving Gilmore Girls, like just the whole vibe of the like stitching and the buttons. And it's just very, very like fall, wintery sweater. And I love it, it's so cute. I wish the fit was a little different like I feel like it's not tight but it's also not loose and so it just kind of looks a little bit awkward but I love the design and I love the hood. I got this black long sleeve which fit I literally am obsessed with like I feel like it's just so flattering the way it's tighter but also loose I don't know it's just like definitely a staple I'm gonna be wearing all around my house as well as outside of the house and an easy throw on comfy little long sleeve I also got this little half turtleneck like short sleeve which I love like I think this is so interesting having this sweater look without the sleeves and I like the little bottom I didn't expect it to look like this at the bottom where it's like a mini little flare and I think it just adds such a cute detail again another cozy basic I also got this skirt which is really cute plaid it is like kind of recent forever 21 so so the quality maybe isn't the best but it's still cute and I feel like it's good just under an oversized sweater. I wasn't much of a fan with how this sweater fit. I feel like it was again another mix between like too loose and too tight and it just I don't know if it really wasn't my vibe, but nonetheless, I feel like it's very in the Gilmore Girls style and it's cute other than the fit. And then the last item I got is this white button up, which again, very reminiscent of one of the outfits that Lorelai wore, but it's so cute, very on a farm, cottage core, milkmaid kind of vibe. And I didn't iron it, so literally ignore me. Also, there's some stains, so I gotta try to get those out. Out. nonetheless super cute and I like how this one fits so very very cute well that's it for this Gilmore Girls inspired thrift haul this was so fun but I definitely want to get deeper into the seasons and understand the style even more and maybe do this in the future because I really feel like it's growing on me this kind of casual fall look if you got this far in the video comment a coffee emoji because that's so much the Gilmore Girls fall vibe if you want to see more of what I'm doing on a daily basis or get more fashion inspo, you can follow my socials here. Shop my Depop here. I love y'all so much. Can't wait to see y'all next time. Bye!